Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jay Barino. We're playing StarCraft II Wings of Liberty. I think I'm going to go ahead and do Belshir this time. There's a rare gas on Belshir, the Protoss Skull, the Breath of Creation. They think it'd be a gift from their gods. <laughs> we call it Tarazine, and it'd be worth a fortune to the right bidder. Of course, those Protoss will kill us if they catch us on their holy ground. Or at least they'll try. All right, so of course we're going to be fighting the evil Protoss this time to give us an excuse. Here we go. Much prettier than Redstone, yeah? I don't much like fighting Protoss if I can avoid it. Not just any old Protoss. Fanatics call the Tal Darim. They believe the Tarazin is sacred, a gift from the Zelnaga. If these Tal Darim bring in their air power, they're going to hammer us. Swan, get the Goliath schematics loaded at the factory. If their anti-air missiles are still any good, we might just pull this off. All right, cowboy. I'll get the Goliath schematics loaded so we can build more. How do we get to the Terrazine? See those altars? Taldari Mystic set them up to collect the Terrazine. We just need to grab it. Well, our SCVs will be able to haul the Terrazine. We just gotta keep them protected. With any luck, we can pick up what we need before the Tal Darim find us. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so the key to this mission, well, the achievements of this mission is one, don't let the Protoss cap any of the Terrazine altars. That one's, actually, both are moderately hard. And then the second is don't lose a single SCV uh, the entire mission. And then there's a, a feat of strength on this map to kill all of the Protoss, which can be fun, but probably time-consuming, and I don't think I want to do it. And also, I feel like it invalidates the other two achievements, because if you just kill the Protoss, then you clearly have nothing to worry about. So, we'll see if we can get both achievements, though. I don't know if I'm going to like restart if I lose one SCV. The idea is, you lose SCVs when they're trying to cap the Terrazine Altars, or when they're trying to mine the Terrazine Altars, and then the Protoss counterattack. I rarely lose SCVs then. I lose SCVs just randomly. Uh, like defending my base or something, so. Alrighty, here we go. We do have auto refineries, which is fantastic. So let's just get started. We can drop down mules now, which is great. Let's go ahead and get a reactor there for our marine medics. Marine medic Goliath is going to be the name of the game here for sure. No problem. Now, it's always good to get an early refinery if you have auto refineries. We should make our lives a little our SCVs can pick up terrazine canisters and move them. It'll take them a while to disconnect the canister, so make sure you watch out for them. Okay. So yeah, we're just going to start making medics and marines as we get more money here. Right now we don't really have that much money, but uh, yeah, and the key is to move out a little early because you want to push out and clear out some of the maps so that you can defend against the Protoss trying to cap the altars. So we have more time, I think, than... I mean, you still have to be kind of fast. A lot of the StarCraft II maps retain their ingenuity, I guess, as it were. I don't know, the, the ingenuity, the creativity, by forcing some sort of time constraint on you. You can't just sit in your base and mine away and then push out later, which I think is great, actually. I think that's, uh, that's excellent. That needed to happen because uh, otherwise a lot of the in interesting mission objectives... Like, in this case, uh, these Terrazine Altars, um, if the Protoss didn't try to cap them, then you could just sit in your base and build up a giant force. Obviously, if you're good enough at macroing, you could do that anyway. Also, I want to point out, we do have the, uh, the Biosteel, so our Goliaths will get healed over time. I am supply capped again, because I was uh, using, using silly phrases like, as it were, and, and got distracted. Okay, so... Oh, yes, we are indeed still... Well, let's cancel these and let's get our plus one. Eventually leading into plus two. There is a Protoss base right up here that I want to take uh, pretty quick. I just need more Marines. Come on, Depot. This is all I want. And then I want to make a second barracks. Alrighty. Call down more mules. Queue up more SCVs. This land was sacred to the Talbarim before Terrans ever reached the stars. You must depart immediately. Hold on now. We just need some of this gas here. We'll be long gone before you know it. No. 
You shall not defile the breath of creation. Tyleri Morians. Execute all those who would desecrate our altars. The Protoss are mobilizing, sir. Looks like they're gonna go after our SCVs when we harvest the Terrazine. I suggest we only harvest one side at a time and run with a heavy escort. Okay. So, uh, again, I'm not really gonna go straight for the... I'm gonna defend, but I'm not really gonna worry that much about uh, capping, not capping, I keep saying capping, the Protoss do the capping. It looks like they're going to go try to get the one of these altars down here, so I'm going to go uh, stop them from doing that. Then I'm going to start pushing out pretty quick. Warning. The Tal'Darim are sealing off a Terrazine altar. Wonderful. The Tal'Darim are sealing off the Terrazine altar, so we can't get at them. If they keep it up, we won't be able to collect it out. So you have a lot of time, as you can see, they're capping it off, but it, it takes a long time for them to do that. So we repelled the first attack. Make sure you get a couple extra turrets up here, because they do come at you with a pretty large air attack. I think they only do it one time, though, in the whole mission, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, Marines. Uh, supply depots. This is why supply call down might have been a good idea, because uh, this is where a lot of people's weakness lie. And everyone's like, oh, you're such a noob when you get supply blocked. Honestly, I mean, it's true, but at the same time, that's what a lot of people have trouble with in this game, so I completely understand. Let's get, uh... Yeah, let's do that. Let's get medics, medics, and let's go ahead and attack into the Protoss base here. We'll go ahead and stim up. And go. And stop moving a little bit, just so we're all attacking. Kill the Void Rays, great. Now, you could take this base. Uh, I don't find that it's necessary, but I'll probably do it. But it also uh, it allows you to move around the map where you need to go. Let's call down some more pigs, because those are great. So I'm going to queue up another supply depot in advance. You keep mining. Actually, go ahead and throw up one more turret and one of these. Okay, so because we destroyed this base, we have easy access to this over here. So let's go ahead and stim, run on over there. Now, I could go straight for the probe if, you know, this was close to me losing it, but I'm not going to lose it, so it's fine. Alright, kill that. Uh, more medics and marines. And uh, goliaths. Why not goliaths? Goliaths just a great option in this mission. Just an absolute great option, so that's good. War pigs get on over here. I can call down probably hammer securities would be a good idea, too. I think those are 250, yeah. And hammer securities. Okay, so I'm going to take these units, and I'm going to head on up in this direction, just to sort of clear out what's here, so I can move around the map quickly. Uh, if you did the Viking mission already, this mission would be great for Vikings, I think. I don't know if I've ever done this mission, though, where Vikings were already available, so... Uh, this is fine, just stim up. Oh, here's, the, here's that air attack I was talking about, so let's make more Marines. I have hammer securities are in my base, so I'm in really good shape. Scouts just do pathetic damage against uh, ground, so uh, this is fine. I thought maybe I could save that. I couldn't. Let's call down some mules. Okay, you guys come on up here. We'll come down in this direction and just, again, we'll, we'll swing down and just clear all this out. Uh, one of the protests... Oh, there's one right here, actually. Let's get this. Oh, that's in a bad spot. All right, grab this, and we got to get over there. So stim, stim, and come on down in this direction. Quickly, quickly. Grab all this. Quickly, quickly. We're, I might just have to go straight for the probe here. And stim again. We got to get there. We got to get there. Again, we really have to just kill the probe, and it's dead. So now attack. Everyone get in there. Okay, well, we saved it. Uh, I lost more than I would have liked, but whatever. Let's go ahead and heal up now. We got a medic just sitting down here. I don't think I've lost an SCV yet. I want to take... Again, I want to kind of take that base up there, but I'm not sure if it's worth it, because if you get attacked, then you're going to lose stuff. All right, there's depots. Um, let's make depots. I'm going to clear out the middle of the map. Uh, there's a Colossi there, so I want to get rid of it. Let's just lure this stuff away and kill it out of range of the Colossi. All right, stim and just kill it quickly, quickly. The Goliath anti-air works on it, so that's great. All right, kill all of this. Marines, medics, Goliaths. 
and depots. I thought I had queued up a lot, but apparently not. You guys lower, we'll get another one. Okay, let's go grab that. Now again, this is not bad, only because um, now the map is mostly clear, so I can get where I need to go very fast, especially with stiff marines. Alright, I killed that, so let's head on down here. My units are splitting. That's not a smart thing for them to do, but oh well. Come on over here, just target the probe. There we go, now attack and we're fine. So, uh, more marines, more medics, marines. And we'll call that more war picks. When we can, when we can, no problem. Got a lot of stuff up here. Okay, so the next, or the last, I should say, Protoss artifact is uh, up here past this. Here comes their next attack. I got stormed. That wasn't good. So they do keep attacking you again. Now I'm just going to take this opportunity to go uh, grab the last artifact. Then I'm just going to start going around with SCVs and finishing the mission. So that's fine. We're going to have more than enough stuff, I believe. I, I believe. I believe. It was a, a mix between believe and think. I blink. I blink. All right, there it is. So let's head on over here. We'll kill it. Kill it. We'll pick it up. We'll kill that cannon, though. All right, murder these guys. Those cannons have a long range. You want to do this fast. Oh, never mind. All right, you guys attack over here. You guys. You guys. We don't need all the all of you here. You guys come on this way. We got to go stop them from capping that. So just come on down in this direction. All right, kill these. And pick this up, and then let's get the fuck out of here because they keep warping shit in. Okay, I think we're fine. Let's stim, push through this, and then kill the probe. In fact, let's just kill the probe now. Those are void rays. Let's, well, let's stim and run. We're going to lose this stuff. Unfortunately, there were some mercenaries in there. Let's call down more mercenaries because they're great. Uh, probably after this mission, I'll go ahead and spend my money on getting more mercenaries, like the Goliath and Siege Tech mercenaries. They're just so good. I never got my plus two. Whoops. Okay. So now is when I'll go ahead and start getting some Terrazine. So let's send three SCVs up here. We need to get seven. That's not bad. So let's queue up more of these guys. More of these. Nope, okay, yeah. So this is a case where, you know, taking that extra base would have been good. So what we're going to do is we're going to start mining these. And the Protoss are going to be pissed, and they're going to start sending a bunch of stuff at me. Ouch. Mr. Reina, collecting terrazine from two places at once. Three places. Sure, it's going to be harder to keep the tall dream off our backs. But the quicker we're done here, the sooner we can get off this rock. Outstanding. So I'm splitting my forces a little bit. You just want to make sure your uh, SCVs don't immediately get attacked. The tall dream are sealing off a terrazine altar. Now you guys come on down here. The rest of my stuff here should be in fine shape to defend. Get on over here. Now, they, they don't really go straight for the SCVs, which is funny. I've got the first canister on hook, sir. I'll take it to the nearest command center. This better be good. Okay, so a lot of this is just um, making, like multitasking, making sure you're sending units to the right place to make sure that you're uh, defending your SCVs. I haven't lost an SCV, I don't think. It'd be funny if I did. That's the first canister field. That's fine. Okay, we're gonna go over here. Gangway, come Three through. down. You're doing great. Keep it up. Okay, I'm gonna make like a mobile roaming force to go uh stop them from capping. That's gonna be this. And then I'm gonna take these three over here on the left. Go ahead. So these two and then this one down here shouldn't be a problem. I'll pick those up. I have gotten all the Protoss relics. Okay, good. And again, this force is going to be just to go hunt down when they're capping altars. That should be more than enough. Again, you, as long as you kill the probe, it's fine. Okay, so you come down here, you come over here, and you come over here. What would be disastrous... Right, you guys come on up here. Let's take this group and go kill the probe. What would be disastrous is if I was mining these things, and then the Terezine, or the, uh, the Protoss... Oh, fuck. So easily 
Um, all right, attack, stim. We gotta push through this and then go kill that probe fast. That's a lot of stuff. Again, we have to push through this fast to get to that, uh... Because they're trying to kill my SCVs. Oh, fuck. Uh, you guys come. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, stim. It's gonna be close. All right, no problem. We got it. All right, you all attack over here. The problem is they sent units down to kill my SCVs, and, uh... They were in the way of trying to get to the altar they were capping. Now, what I was going to say was disastrous is if they would send an attack force at me at this moment. Now, what I could do is stop myself from turning in the last canister and go kill the Protoss. Not going to do it. You and your radar sure can walk the walk. We just need one more canister. Wait a minute. Oh, there is another one. All right, let's... uh. Go ahead and SCV come on down here. I only did three and three. I thought I had four at some point. I see them trying to go cap a thing. So I'm going to go with It's definitely one of these over here. So you guys stay. You guys go. Oh, it's way up there. Warning. The Taldarim are sealing off a Terezine altar. Okay, here they come. The reckless Terrans must be stopped. Slay them all. Alright, I'm just running, because I gotta get to this probe. I just don't- I don't care at this point. The only goal is to, uh, kill the probe from capping the thing. Alright, turn around. Alright, you come down and defend my SCV. Uh, it looks like they're coming to attack my base. Yeah, they are. So you guys get over there. Alright, save the Terrazine. SCV's good. I don't have any SCVs lingering. Alright, that's it. We stopped them from capping. Oh my god, they did! Did they send two probes? No! I killed that probe, right? I'm not an idiot, right? That's the last canister. I think we've outstayed our welcome, boys. Oh, man. Well, they capped one altar. And let's be honest, if I knew that that was even happening, I would have stopped it. I would have stopped it. I didn't lose any SCVs, though. They sealed one stupid shrine. All right, I think I deserve that. I deserve that achievement. I'm going to handwrite a letter to Blizzard with my with my quill pen and uh, and my little ink bucket and I'm going to seal it up with a with a, a wax seal and inside it's going to say I deserve I deserve appetite for destruction. Oh wait, no. It's well I deserve it's so easy. <sighs> Oh well. All right. Well, you all know that I deserve that. I know that I deserve that. Let's go back to the Hyperion and talk to some idiots. So I got 120 credits. That's not. It's not a lot. So again, I need I need to save for the Viking upgrades. I need to save for the siege tank upgrades, and I need to save for all the mercenaries. I definitely plan on getting all the mercenaries because they're just so cool. They're unique units. I'm not just gonna pass them up. Sir, I received an encrypted transmission from an untraceable source. It claims that Tosh here was part of a classified operation called Project Shadowblade. They used Jorium and Terrazine to enhance ghost powers. It's true. We are called Spectres. Next generation ghosts. And you were going to tell me all this when? We all have our secrets, Mr. Rena. Doesn't mean I'm any threat to you. Maybe not. But whoever sent this message could be. Matt. Any way to verify the transmission? No, sir. But it does end with... I'll be in touch soon. It's Minsk. Trying to turn us against each other. Don't let him. I'll let it lie for now. At least till I find out who sent this transmission. But I'll be keeping an eye on you, Tosh. You can try. <laughs> well, I mean, Tosh did sort of be very upfront with us. And when we asked him about it, he's like, oh yeah, I'm a Spectre, and it's the next it's the next gen ghost thing. I don't know. Anyway, let's talk to him again, get some more details. Still don't trust me, brother. Until you decide. Eat nothing to discuss. You don't have to be a dick about it. I repeat, death toll is in the thousands. A Dominion weapons plant exploded hours ago, causing a chain reaction that has taken out several housing complexes in this working class neighborhood. Dominion security forces claim it was an act of terror by the notorious Jim Rayner, but our own investigations suggest that the plant must have been infiltrated by forces with sophisticated stealth technologies. It begs the question, could some of the Dominion's ghost operatives have gone rogue? 
For UNN, this is Kate Lockwell reporting from the Core World Nefor 2. All right, and I like how it flashed to Tosh there suspiciously. That Tosh is a whack job, Jimmy. Spends all his time muttering and playing around with those damn dolls of his. Well, I need someone to balance out your sophistication and good manners. The guy ain't riding ahead, brother. I can appreciate some good honest craziness, but that guy, he's got something broke inside. Okay, well that's true, Tosh is pretty fucking crazy, but I think he's a cool guy, he's clearly not out to get us, so mercenaries. Alright, 120, 120, plus the little bit that I got. Um, yeah, let's just get both of these. I may regret that, I'm gonna go to the... I'm gonna go ahead and go to the armory and now wish that I had more money. But actually, if we go to the lab, I'll have more money. Oh no, I won't, because that was uh, that was Protoss. So yeah, that gets me up to one short of tech reactors. I'm not even gonna mention orbital strike. It's tech reactors, all right? There's no, there's not even a question, because orbital strike only works with barracks units, which is silly. Okay, uh, Doctor Henson. I've run a few tests on the terrazine gas, like you asked. It's clearly related to Vespine gas, but there are some very exotic organics added into the mix. Any guesses what it's used for? Well, it would definitely affect brain chemistry, so it could be used as some kind of drug or stimulant, I suppose. Drugs, huh? That's just wonderful. Cool, so if we had done the Hansen storyline and finished it, regardless of what path you take, she would be off the ship. So there's a lot of dialogue that you might miss. So that's why I'm kind of... I think I might just uh, wait to do that Viking mission until a little closer to the end, just to see if there's more that I can... more dialogue options that a lot of people may not have seen. We'll head to the armory. Swan says nothing. All right, 50,000 credits. What can I get with you? Oh, I want that... I want that uh, juggernaut plating. I don't know why, honestly. I don't really need it. Uh, these Goliath upgrades are good, but... There aren't too many times when I'm going to be making more Goliaths, and I think Goliaths are good the way they are. These, I mean, the range upgrades are fucking fantastic, but I just don't think there's a time when I absolutely need them. Obviously, the uh, fire suppression system is really, really good, too, but there's nothing that I think I specifically need for the next mission. In fact, I might do the Tosh slash Nova mission next, only because it's fun and you get money exclusively for it. So let's head to the bridge and talk to Matt Horner. What do you make of that encrypted message, Matt? I honestly don't know, sir. If Tosh really is one of these specters, it's clear Manx would try to ruin your partnership. But Tosh isn't telling us everything. If we're going to win this revolution... I know. We have to be sure of our allies. Okay. Well, that's it for me. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye now.